started pouring two days ago and it was raining all day yesterday so I don't know it's just it's all cloudy today it hasn't rained today but it's been real cloudy and it's it's downright cold like it is freezing out here it's got to be like 75 degrees River's all muddy. Probably not gonna be able to catch anything. It's all muddy. <laughs> the uh, little beach island thing I usually fish from is completely underwater. So I don't know. I'm gonna head down to that bridge probably. I'm only gonna be out here for a little while. Maybe I'm gonna. Maybe I'll catch something. I probably won't. I don't think I will. Although there is a bird down there. What kind of bird that is like an egret or something they dive under the water catch fish water level is up but it's gone down i mean if you look at the pillars there you can see where the trash and everything where it was up actually it looks like a water line like it, it looks like it came up high enough to hit the trail here where i'm at which would be 15 20 feet deeper than usually is but it does look like it's starting to recede. It's going back down. Now's a good time to go looking for river treasure. So I might have to do that instead of fishing. Just gonna keep an eye on the rocks here for anything that stands out. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow. This would have been yesterday. Everywhere on where I'm standing, this was all underwater. It was about probably the top of my head where it is right now. This is crazy. What's even crazy is how it would recede down that far so fast. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be any any fish here. That is, look, it's, I guess the, the trail's going down a little bit, so it, the water level at one point was probably about two feet above my head right here. And I'm six feet tall, so. I'm just, man, I know it was raining a lot, but I'm having a hard time believing that it rained that much. And there's usually uh, rapids and stuff right here. Look at the trees over there. The trees almost got, they, they all got washed out of place. From where I'm standing, looking at the water line up there. That means the water was about 15 to 20 feet deep right here. See, this is normally where I would fish. I would usually walk down right here between these plants and there's a beach area out here. That's normally where I would go fishing. But it is all completely underwater now, right now. There are fish there. I just saw one jump. Maybe I'll have some luck after all. I don't want to fish right here because there's a lot of plants all along the, what would normally be the water line. And they're all underwater now. So that's all stuff to get snagged on. Up ahead here. This is usually a little... Wow. That is funny. It's, a, it's rapids that are made for the kayaks. A little rapid area for the kayakers. And... Uh, there's a bird up there. One of those egrets, look at that, he's going down the rapids. He just looks like he's just having fun. He flies up, lands in the water. This is the third time I've seen him do it. He does it and then he sits back and just goes over the rapids. See that, look, he's going over the rapids right now. And then he flies back up to the front, does it again. Look, see, he's doing it again. <laughs> that is, that's pretty funny. Maybe that bird is bored. Look at he's going all the way down now. Look, look how far down he's going. He's riding it down all the way. <laughs> and 
I guess kayakers aren't the only ones who enjoy the rapids. There he goes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That is... Who says birds can't have fun, huh? Now I know it seems like I walked a long way here and it's still kind of rainy conditions. But if it were to start raining and the water, we'd get hit by another flash flood or something, I would not try to get back to my car on the trail. I would actually cut straight up the hill here. There's a neighborhood on the other side of the hill. And this is actually a maintenance trail right here. That, uh, I don't know where it leads, but that's the direction I'm going. If it starts to flood again. Put this down. Uh, I got a spoon. I doubt the spoon will work right now, but I'm gonna try that out just for the first cast. Man, that current is strong. And there wouldn't be any fish here. Now this spoon is not the right kind of lure, but I'm doing it to try to get an idea of what's going on down here. You now I was just pulling out the line. I've never had the current do that here. So I'm not sure if I've ever had the current do that anywhere. Man, look at the current take this thing. See how the rod's acting? Look how this rod is bending for that. Just a crankbait. And this is a lightweight crankbait too. Pretty crazy. And for as thin as this rod is, it's actually pretty stiff. These crankbaits work pretty good. Right? Up until they hit the surface anyway, and then they come flying. Kind of impressive. Man, it's actually kind of fun just playing with the crankbait here. Seeing it fights like a fish in this current. is just pulling it out like it's a fish and it fights like a fish look at that that is pretty impressive
Look, it's backwards and it's still fighting.